sound test. One, two, three. One, two, mic check, mic check. It's sounding good. Yeah, sir. All right, ready when you are, Scott? Cool. Yeah. First off, thank you for your time. Thank Very you. busy, I can imagine, getting ready for this, this amazing thing. Uh, and time for you. Thank you so much, we appreciate it. Um, so we've heard, apparently, on the grapevine, standing ovations so far, etc. You must be yeah. delighted with the response it's so far. It's been an amazing yeah. response, like, every night so Ecstatic, far, yeah. yeah. And just an emotional response as well. Yeah. Um, you could just hear the, the yeah, the, the tissues and yeah, and the hands. It's, it's all brilliant, really, yeah. And the laughter as well, yeah. the laughter, and that's you know, because that's a scary thing when you're trying to to land a joke and in the rehearsal room it just falls flat. But then, in when, the audience, they're the responding. They really so respond. yeah, so it is like a, a show full of so many emotions, ups and downs, it's like yeah, tears of joy and of of, of bliss, bliss and, and yeah, yeah, and despair you get the full spectrum with our with our show i think for sure and you're still you're still tweaking it as you go which must be a, a strange because i guess i guess with movies and tv and everything you, you kind of detach yourself from it yeah, and someone else has yeah. to do it but with you guys you're on on the go is yeah. that is that a strange experience coming having to tweak no, things it's, every day it's to be it's it to be expected in um, previews so um we knew that things would change along the way um it's just long days as well. Yeah. <laughs> it's long days, but it's to make it better. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's the only way you can find out those things is when you have an audience. You know, we can do it in front of a creative team um, over and over, but it's the audience who's going to give us our true response. So that's where, like, the creative team can say, okay, this is what we need. This is what, you know. So yeah. and Sometimes you need to see the, the full picture, picture in order yeah. to see the, the, the little kind of holes yeah. and, and adjustments that, are necessary to make yeah. it like this perfect, perfect yeah. piece and and that's all all of us want wants to tell this story in the yeah. best way possible yeah. in the most clear and um accessible. beautiful way yeah. and concise way as well um so yeah it, it's part it is difficult like there was a day where it literally felt like pick on chrissy day where <laughs> i had a new fight a new dance a cut in my song put new pages and i just it was like as, as the actress yeah you freak out but at the same time, it's also a privilege because you're on your toes yeah. and um, you're challenged constantly. Yeah. Um, and it, you know, and you must trust that it's for the be yeah. for the better. And it is because, you know, the creative team are our eyes. And so, you know, we trust those eyes to guide us in the right direction, right. so to speak. Yeah. Yeah, they're only going to make it better. Exactly. And 100%. They have done. Yeah, yeah for sure. this this comes with the I guess quite a big following because the the obviously the story is part of history and everything else, but the the film itself has such a huge following and was kind of revolutionary in terms of its animation and the way that it, it did stuff. Does that add any pressure to you guys, or is that just does that fuel you in the way that you know that the fans and there's a big audience for this that can't wait to see what you guys have have, have done on the theatre? I think it's great that it has an amazing following. But um, this is the stage adaptation. It's not the animated version. So these are now real people telling their sp telling these stories that people know, but in real life kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? So um, it, it, I wouldn't say that there's a pressure per se because it is the stage adaptation. It's not the animation. Yeah. I mean, people do come in with a certain expectation and people that I have spoken to, like friends who, who like, I think the, the this theatrical piece honors what was, um, what the, the, the film was. Mm -hmm. The music is, it's just Stunning. out of this world. It, it really is. And how it's orchestrated is another level. Cause it's, it's- And the choreography. Choreography is mind blowing. I mean, just- And, and I also like, also going back to the orchestration, it is actually kind of like um, really true to the, ethnic yeah. sound yeah. and I don't know if that was reflected as much in the film so that's another layer yeah. that kind of we're adding that there is more of a authenticity See, to it yeah. and even the movement yes. like that there's an authenticity so, to yeah. it and um the great storytelling through the choreography and even just kind of hearing a bit of like Ramsey side of the story and bringing in the character Nefertari um it's getting a bit of that um Egyptian history yeah. so to speak so that's what um, we're getting to see also. So we, you're actually getting a little bit more. Definitely. Okay. <laughs> I think yeah. the characters are yeah. more fleshed out, out yeah. completely. And um, um, they're given more of a voice and the audience is given more of an insight to who they are as people really. And like like I said, like my friends who I've spoken to have seen it. What they say is like, you know, we know the story. We know 
Moses, the Bible story, but actually we get to know these individuals exactly. who made this possible. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's important because it's humanized and mm -hmm. you see yourself reflected in these people. And that's more interesting to me than, yeah, the bush burned and, you know, we crossed the Red the Sea. sea again, it's yeah. more interesting to me to see the, the plight and the, the kind of conflict that these people, these humans went through in order to um, overcome these circumstances. That to me is more interesting, the, the, the human heart, what the capacity that it has to, yeah, to make miracles. Yeah. Yeah, as you say, it's obviously yeah. steep, steeped in steeped in history. Hey, <laughs> I just got that. I'm well off it today. Um, obviously, steeped in in history and the Bible, as you say. And for for modern audiences who are very much visual, you know, visual based in terms of you know Instagram and YouTube and everything else, this is a great way to for young audiences to get that yep. story yeah. that maybe wouldn't sure. wouldn't oh, know. So How important true. is that for you guys? That all, all audiences, but particularly young audiences. I mean, so true um, because you know, theatre is such a powerful tool, and especially to the youth of today it's funny like the, the the hits the bigger hits like that have been come out like the past few years have become viral because of the youth yeah. and um and it is important for them to know this story because it is part of the lifeblood the history of our of many creeds and nations yes, and yeah. ethnic backgrounds and um yeah because it's so visual and and the power of kind of social media these days um it's just, I think it's so good that a positive message is being yeah. put forward to them and in a way that they can relate to. Yeah, for sure. Because I mean, like with the times of today and the pressure of what youth has today, um, having a story like this of having faith and belief, um, I think is inspiring and uplifting actually for the youth, you know? Yeah, tell me about these amazing. From what I've heard from the from the previews from the man behind here, the sets Have you are. Not seen it? I haven't seen it yet. Oh, brother. there's no press screenings for like two weeks. Press screenings are later, but. <laughs> he, paid, he, paid, he, paid he paid his you money. You paid your good earned fuck, didn't you, paid your wages. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you did. <laughs> when did you see it? You did? did? Oh, that's so cute. That's really sweet. sweet. <laughs> okay, okay, back to the question. Yeah. Exactly. I've seen yeah, the film, though. I've seen the film many times. <laughs> How about you? Um, I forgot what I was going to say. The sets. From what I gathered, the sets are pretty incredible. Because the, uh, in the film version, particularly, the animation was so... Um, new and so uh, trending in many ways in the yeah. sense of what they what they managed to do the, to replicate that not just the, from the film but from mm. the history as well is, mm. is quite an achievement and you guys have had these amazing sets but what's it like being on that set and seeing all these revolving things and like the, the, the screens and everything else I mean it must be such an experience just it, being it, on that stage stunning. It's, it's really stunning technically I mean, advanced yeah. and it's it's pushing the boundaries um, of, of what theater can do. And because you know, you do have to kind of witness miracles on stage. And I see it, I completely yeah. see it. The parting of the Red Sea is one of my favorite moments. Mm -hmm. It's overwhelming. Um, and crossing the Red Sea is incredible. At the end of Act One. End so. of Act One, come on, oh, come on. You're, you're not treat. ready, you're not ready. <laughs> he knows, he's in for a treat. <laughs> and just like, there's so many innovations that are happening yeah. on stage, even like in the sound department. Like yeah. we use incredible. these GPS it's trackers like trackers, or yeah, something. We've got like oh, trackers. Wow. We have trackers so. on our head so that basically on stage, right? If you're moving around on stage, it, the it can it, kind of do a surround sound. Yeah, like picks it picks up for like your nearest speaker or something like that. So it sounds like it's coming from over there, yeah. so to speak, as opposed to so just coming through the speakers. Exactly. It's amazing. It's surround Gareth, sound. Gareth, Gareth. Gareth. Yeah, Gareth, one of the um, person who like created it as yeah. well. So um, It's very innovative. It's, yeah, and I think incredible. The people who are like the best at what they do and like are like, Projections? Who's our projection? Yeah, oh, look it up. Yeah. But he's amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the projections are incredible. And it's funny because, like, you know, when we met him, he was like, I'm new to the to this process. Because, you know, obviously the creative team, they've been for years. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas the project our projectionist, mm -hmm. he he kind of came in when we came when in, we kind came, of thing. Yeah. So he was new. And you could see the development, because we were on stage doing tech, and like we, we I kind of saw it was this, then it became this, then it became this. Yeah. It's like, oh my gosh, it's just Beautiful. been finessed to just such an incredible 
thing that you're transported mm -hmm. to this land, to this time, mm -hmm. and you don't question it. No. I know, you know, sometimes you're like, oh, I don't really like projections, and you know, it's kind of. But it's done beautifully. Oh, it's really happy. Really, they've done a really amazing job. And it's complemented yeah. by the set, and like kind of the set gives it another layer, another texture. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So it's, I don't know, it's, it's really just yeah. visually stunning. Yeah. I have to ask you quickly about the ensemble that you're part of, obviously you two and the guys, and it seems to be such they a huge, all the work. <laughs> huge ensemble. They Tell me about being part of, of that, because, you know, there's some, if you go in, in theatre, there's some shows where it'd be a one-man show, two, three, four, this one, you've got a huge ensemble. Yeah. They're like the real part stars. Company? Absolutely incredible. Like, I can't praise them enough. Like, the vocals that they spew out, that falls out of their mouths, yeah. is yeah. just stunning. It's a wall of sound. And then, the movement, the way they speak with their bodies, I, it's just incredible. And and Sean Cheeseman, the choreographer, what he's done, I just, it, it's amazing. Like, I wanted to sit down and actually have a conversation with him. Like, how did you come up with this? Because it's such storytelling mm -hmm. with, their, with their bodies and it really showcases them so beautifully. Do you know what I mean? Usually in shows, you don't really get like, um, dance it like don't get me wrong like there's beautiful choreography but this really showcases on just another level um the dancers and i, I just think he's done an incredible incredible yeah like job. my friend was saying like it's like watching Cirque du Soleil it really is and it's doing it eight phenomenal. times a week it is yeah. insane and um they are true athletes they, they really, really are. are and um and just the singers as well just mm. the sound they make mm. like yeah, they're the so, real stars. They're the, the real. Show, they're the real deal. Like this. We just stand. Amazing. There. Yeah, I'm just like, am I in my light? No. <laughs> <laughs> they they do the heavy lifting. Yeah, for they sure. do. They're, yeah. they're incredible. Incredible. And what's it like been working with with Stephen, who comes with He's such so a gorgeous. such a rich history and awards? And he was uh, there what for the I film love and about stuff. working with Stephen is he has such an understanding and a grasp of yeah. what he wants yeah. from this. He's so hands on and he won't rest until it's right. Right, yeah. And you know, as an actress, that's what you want. You want someone who has a clear vision mm -hmm. of like, this is the story we're telling and this is how yeah, we're, we're telling, telling it. it. Yeah. And um, yeah, working with him and seeing his passion, mm -hmm. no wonder he writes these incredible you know, melodies and scores mm -hmm. and like lyrics. He comes from a place of deep passion mm -hmm. and just like, wanting to tell this story it's it's such like it's never yeah, gonna happen again maybe it will <laughs> you never know <laughs> it's it i feel incredibly privileged it, it's just he's yeah. incredible he really is i remember asking him one day in rehearsal what were you doing when you wrote the plagues mm -hmm. <laughs> and he go and he told me the story what and was, I was it? Just, he was like oh we had to write it really quickly they were like oh we need a um song for the plagues and it was like yeah and we did it in like he said like a couple of hours or something ridiculous yeah. like that i was like you dropped the mic on that, like that was amazing. It's so good, just like vocally what it's doing and the movement of the, it's just, it's so telling. Like you could be singing la 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 and you would totally get it. It's just melodically. I think it's also that classical music because yeah. he's, he's, his background is classical Classic, music. Yeah. And the plagues is very much like, da, 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 da. Yeah. so it's, it's that <laughs> classical kind of like, you know. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. He's, he's yeah, one I had of to give kind. him a high five. I was like, yeah. <laughs> and also, like, he's just Steven. nice. He's, yeah, fun. he's fun. Like, he'll talk really to you lovely. and just, like, chill. Yeah. He's great. Fantastic. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much for your time. And he's out there, isn't he? Yeah, he's yeah, there. Yeah. 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 Look, his ears were he's burning. Here. Can we say hi? His ears were burning. <laughs> we were just talking about you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey, You Guys. Hey, You Guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys!